that desperate people know nothing of mercy. We, the people, had suffered the cruelty of men too fed to starve, too rested to care. But no more. had endured years of war and failed military campaigns. A play for power by kings who cared more for their legacy than their people. With the nation deeply in debt, the nobility carried on with their lavish lifestyles. Ignoring our struggles and levying taxes upon us to shoulder the load for La France. We starved in the streets, tossed aside like rats. No longer would we be left to die. We formed a national assembly for the third estate, our first step in the fight for independence. Yet, we never could have known the dangers that lie waiting. The National Assembly vowed for life. We were willing to do what was needed, violently, if necessary. We surged, unstoppable. The taste of freedom and liberty fell upon each of our lips. When La Bastille fell, we grew hungrier, not for bread or for grain, but for justice. Even His Highness wasn't safe from our reach. For too long had he dismissed our threats. Let him try to ignore us now. After ordering the death of the king, one man thirsted for control. He claimed to represent the people against the monarchy, but was far more dangerous than any king. Maximilien de Robespierre. The slightest suspicion of counter-revolution was met with death. Mere rumors and speculation so many of us meet our end. Families torn apart by Robespierre's reign. A reign of terror. Hundreds of thousands dead. Streets run red with blood. But the reign of terror would not last. Robespierre knew he was to meet the very end he had brought upon so many. While fighting his arrest, he tried to make his escape, but he was unsuccessful. A bullet to the jaw to remind him of his failure. A desperate people know nothing of mercy. This is the history you know, behind the bloodshed and la guillotine. A different secret revolution awaited, its story burning to be told.